Victorio Martinez Vera. What a beautiful name. What should I do if my mom doesn't want me to date the girl at my school I really like? Say, Mom, I'm, I'm grown up now. Tell Mom, I want to be myself. I want to I wanna date who I want to date. Say, Mom, I really like this girl. She's beautiful. She's really beautiful. Can I please go date with her? Ask your dad, obviously. Your dad will probably say yes. Introduce the girl to your mother. I would trust your mom, but if you feel really strongly about this person, maybe just talk to your mom or have them meet and ask her to give them another chance. You gotta ask mom why she doesn't like this girl, first of all. And uh, perhaps the three of you can sit down, have open discussion about whatever. Maybe mom will develop a likeness for her. Maybe try to set your standards a little bit higher because if your mom really doesn't like this girl, there's probably a really good reason. If you're really in love with this girl, I say go for it, you know, follow your heart. If you have a camaraderie and a great friendship and a mild love relationship, you gotta tell mom, it's something that's in my heart. I gotta do it. J. Tom LP is asking, Which character should I use in Smash Bros? Yes! I don't know. I don't have a clue. I'm assuming that's a game. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I know nothing about it. I've heard of Smash Bros. I don't know, but I'm assuming Mario because he's an all-around player. Be Mario because why wouldn't you be Mario? He's the best one. Mario! Because I did, I have Smash Bros and I use them and he mostly wins all the time. Uh. Donkey Kong's pretty powerful, you know, it's, a, it's just, it's a big monkey, like how can you go wrong with a big ape? Luigi or Yoshi? I like being Samus, Zero Suit Samus and Yoshi. Falco, use Falco. I'm a Falco player, use Falco. I really like Little Mac. Uh, and I really like Rob nowadays. I love Kirby. My go-to character is Kirby, because Kirby is just so cute, and he can like fly around and puff up. They're really all good, but I I would recommend maybe Charizard if you have it. Charizard, always Charizard. I love Charizard so much. Fire, Pokemon, it's perfect. Jiggly wants to know. What should you do if we have a friend who doesn't like Tarantino movies. What's Tarantino? What are, what are Tarantino movies? You're probably not gonna like me because I actually haven't seen any Tarantino movies. If they don't like Tarantino movies, then you try to find movies that they're interested in and that you might be interested in as well. Just because they don't like the same movies as you doesn't mean you guys aren't compatible as friends. Teach them to enjoy Tarantino movies, but don't get mad at them. Sit your friend down and just have them watch Kill Bill. Just you know what I mean? Just, that's a great initiator. First, I tell him to get a grip, because I love all his movies. How can that person be your friend? I mean, come on. Quentin Tarantino is a god. Wow. I never saw anyone who didn't like Quentin Tarantino movies. I would disengage myself from that person. I think this is like a sarcastic question, because like, it's like, who doesn't like Tarantino movies? Like, he's a god. Like, what's wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> Tarantino is like my man. I honestly feel like you just need to sit them down and watch Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill, start them off with those, and then slowly get into the good ones. And if they're not into it by like Inglorious Bastards, cut them off. Emma the Kitty asks, I'm a very sensitive person and I really want to be strong. I just don't know how. Gotta work out your muscles and Get those bad boy weights on. By being yourself, you will be strong. Work on being a little more alert to your sensitivity. Don't let those haters get to you. Those people that say bad things about you are probably just jealous. Every time you feel something just hit your heart and that just makes you want to cry, think of happy things. Have a better mindset and perspectives on how you view things. You can be strong in many ways. Maybe you could be a strong friend. Strong doesn't mean you keep all your emotions in, so just be your own person, and that's what makes you strong. You can be a sensitive person and be a strong person at the same time. Even though people associate sadness and crying with weakness, I associate that with being strong because you're allowing yourself to feel emotions that society tells us to suppress. I am a really sensitive person too. I wear my heart on my sleeve, but it's important 
to, you know, be strong in yourself and know that things are going to get solved. Keep being strong in your head. Keep saying, I'm okay. Have confidence in yourself and look at your sensitivity as a gift. Talking Hot Dog asked, How can I destroy the Illuminati? Illuminati? What's an Illuminati? I have no idea how you can do that. You're going to have to try to figure out if the Illuminati is real or not. You throw Bill Cipher at it! Take over the world? I'm trying to do the same thing. Find their weak spot and hit them where it hurts. If they're evil, then try to get a ton of tough guys to help you destroy the Illuminati. You uh, can destroy conspiracies and theories by um, investigating it yourself. If you believe the Illuminati exists, um, good luck because I don't think there's any way to destroy the Illuminati. That's a real dangerous game you want to play right now, Talking Hot Dog. Because, like, triangles, uh-uh, Illuminati, you don't want to mess with that. It's not going to happen. They're here. There is no destroying the Illuminati. It's too late. That's it. You can't. The Illuminati is the greater good. Thanks for watching Advice on the React channel. Don't miss out. Subscribe. Want our advice? Comment your questions down below. Bye. Thanks for all your questions. Goodbye. Oh. Uh...